subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about, Salesforce Identity, and Access Management Designer. The Salesforce Identity, and Access Management Designer examination is created for identity professionals, who want to demonstrate their knowledge, skills, and abilities in assessing identity architecture, and designing secure, high-performance access management solutions on the Lightning platform. Who should take the exam? The exam has been designed for a specific set of professionals, who can derive the best out of the Salesforce Identity, and Access Management Designer examination. First, Enterprise Architect. Second, Technical Architect. Third, Security Architect. Fourth, Corporate Integration Architect. Fifth, Identity Architect. Now we will talk about, Exam Prerequisites. The candidate should have the following before applying for the Salesforce Identity, and Access Management Designer examination. First, one year of Identity, and Access Management experience. Second, one year of Salesforce experience with a major component security setup, and design. Third, two years of securities technology experience. Exam details. The Salesforce Identity, and Access Management Designer examination consists of 60 multiple choice, or multiple select questions. The cost of the examination is 400 US dollars, plus applicable taxes as required per local law. The passing score for the exam is 65%, and also, you will be getting 120 minutes to finish the exam. However, it can be taken as a proctored exam delivered on-site at a testing center, or in an online proctored environment. Now we will discuss about, exam registration. For registration yourself for the examination, follow the steps mentioned below. First, go to the Salesforce Identity and Access Management Designer exam guide page. Second, scroll down to Schedule Now. You will be directed to Criterion Global Testing Solution page, who is the only official exam conducting partner of Salesforce. Third, after that create a new registration, and follow the prompt. Fourth, locate the exam you wish to schedule, and expand the section to view the delivery options. Also, you can choose to register for the exam as outside proctored, or online proctored. Click the register button for the delivery method you prefer. Fifth. However, if you choose online proctored exams, review all system requirements in our help article, Online Proctoring, completing your exam remotely. Sixth, however, if you selected the on-site proctored exam. Seventh, then select a testing center. Eighth, select the date and time you would like to take the exam, read the reschedule, and cancellation policy, select the acknowledgement checkbox. Ninth, if you selected the online proctored exam. Tenth, then select the date, and time you would like to take the exam, read the reschedule, and cancellation policy, select the acknowledgement checkbox. 11th, all online proctored exams are automatically adjusted to the time zone of the location you're inputted. 12th, finally, make the payment, and complete your registration. Exam policies. There are some policies that every candidate is should follow. These terms, and conditions give an insight into the candidate related to the cancellation recertification, and validity of the certificate. Also, these exam policies help candidates understand, and gather all the necessary information about after the exam, or before exam procedures. It is advised to check these policies once, before completing the registration to avoid any kind of confusion in the future. Now we will talk about, maintaining your Salesforce certification. The Salesforce Identity and Access Management Designer Certification is valid for three years, and along with it you required to complete the Identity and Access Management Designer Certification maintenance modules on Trailhead one time a year. If by any chance the candidate fails to complete the above-mentioned maintenance requirements by the due date, your credential will expire. Course Outline First, Identity Management Concepts, which compromises 28% weightage for this exam. Second. Accepting third-party identity in Salesforce, which compromises 22% weightage for this exam. Third, Salesforce as an identity provider, which compromises 23% weightage for this exam. Fourth, Access Management Best Practices, which compromises 15% weightage for this exam. Fifth, Salesforce Identity, which compromises 17% weightage for this exam. Sixth, Community, Partner, and Customer which compromises 5% weightage for this exam. Let us now discuss about course outline topics in detail. Number 1. Identity Management Concepts, 
it contains. First, describe the roles an identity provider and service provider play in an access control solution. Second, describe common methods for how to trust connections that are established between two systems and the methodologies used to describe trust between an identity provider and service provider. Third, given a scenario, articulate whether it describes an authentication, authorization, or accounting scenario, and what Salesforce features should be used to accomplish the task. Fourth, given a scenario, recommend the appropriate method for provisioning users in Salesforce and other third-party services, SOAP, or REST API, SAML JEET, Identity Connect, User Provisioning for Connected Apps, etc. Fifth, Describe the risks to enterprise security that federated single sign-on solutions aim to address. Sixth, given a scenario, troubleshoot common points of failure that may be encountered in a single sign-on solution, SAML, OAuth, etc. Number two, accepting third-party identity in Salesforce, 22%. It contains. First, describe the components of an identity management solution, where Salesforce is accepting identity from a third party. Second, Given a scenario, recommend the appropriate authentication mechanism when Salesforce needs to accept third-party identity, enterprise directory, social, community, etc. Third, given a scenario, recommend the appropriate method of SAML initiation to fulfill the requirements, SP in it, IDP in it. Fourth, describe the components of a delegated authentication solution. Fifth, describe the risks of implementing delegated authentication. Number three, Salesforce as an identity provider, 23%. It contains. First, given a scenario, determine the most appropriate flow type to recommend when implementing an OAuth solution, where Salesforce is providing identity to a third party, for example, user agent, web server, JWT, etc. Second, describe the various implementation concepts of OAuth, for example, scopes, secrets, tokens, refresh tokens, token expiration, token revocation, etc. Third, describe the roles connected apps play when Salesforce needs to provide identity to a third-party system. Fourth, given a scenario, recommend the Salesforce technologies that should be used to provide identity to the third-party system, Canvas, connected apps, app launcher, etc. Number four, access management best practices, 15%. It contains. First, Describe the risks that two-factor authentication mechanisms aim to mitigate. Second, given a scenario, determine the most appropriate two-factor authentication mechanism for an identity solution. Third, given a scenario, identify the risks and mitigation strategies that session security and two-factor authentication enable, for example, high assurance sessions, 2FA, etc. Number 5, Salesforce Identity, 7%. It contains. First, given a scenario, recommend the most appropriate Salesforce license types to support the identity requirements. Second, describe the roles Identity Connect plays in an identity management solution. Number six, community, partner, and customer, 5%. It contains. Describe the capabilities for customizing the registration experience for external communities, for example, branding options, self-registration, communications, etc. Preparatory Guide for Salesforce Identity and Access Management Designer First, refer the exam guide. The first step is always to be aware of the exam guide and course outline. For the Salesforce Identity and Access Management Designer examination, you should visit the official Salesforce website to get the course outline and exam guide for the above examination. Second, Trailhead Academy and Training Trailhead Training and study guide will not only help you in acing the examination, but it will also help you to develop a clear and better understanding of the concept. With Trailhead, you can review online documentation, tip sheets, and user guides, search for the topics listed in the exam outline section of this guide, and study the information related to those topics. Training course is your key to successfully pass the exam. You can easily get on with training courses for the same. Salesforce offers the candidate with quite a few options to choose from. Also, you can purchase the Salesforce Identity and Access Management Designer updated exam questions by BizTech which is available on all leading online stores. Third, join a study group. It is essential to stay connected with people who have similar aims as you. This will not help you clarify your doubts 
but it will also help to gain additional knowledge related to the Salesforce identity and access management design or examination. You should join some study groups where you can discuss the concepts with the people who have the same goal. This will help the candidate throughout their preparation. Also, you can join the Trailblazer community. Fourth, reference books. Books are the ultimate source of learning and preparation and there are plenty of references available to help you prepare better together with these learning resources. Some of the suggested books which you can refer are 1. Identity and Access Management by Gerard Esplokti 2. Identity and Access Management, Business Performance Through Connected Intelligence by Erdem Osman Oglu 5. Practice Test It is very important to get your hands on sample papers and practice tests. The practice test is very beneficial in preparing for the Salesforce identity and access management designer examination. Solving them will not only make you familiar with the exam environment and increase your confidence, but will also help you identify the areas where you lack in and need to pay special attention to. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.